School Freeware's Word 2007 Tutorials. Tutorial 7. Using the keyboard for increasing productivity and for users with disabilities. There are some very nice reasons why you should learn how to use the keyboard to get around Microsoft Word. First of all, it can help those who have difficulty using the mouse. Second, it can help those who are visually impaired and have difficulty seeing some of these small buttons like this font dialog box button located right here where my mouse is. But also it can help increase productivity because using the keyboard can be a lot quicker than clicking on little icons around the screen. So I'd like to show you how to get around Microsoft Word this using the keyboard. And first thing we have to do is hit the Alt key. And when we hit the Alt key we can start using our arrow keys right arrow or left arrow to migrate between the tabs back and forth or if I hit the up arrow key while I'm underneath the quick access toolbar I can go inside the quick access toolbar and if I hit the down arrow key I can go back to the tabs. To go into one of the tabs I can hit the down arrow key and if I have some commands that are on top of each other like you see here, I can use the down and up arrow keys to go between them. I'll use the right arrow key to move to different commands off to the right and I'll use the left arrow key to move back. If I want to go into one particular command, all I have to do is hit the enter key. So for example here, I'm just going to hit up the right arrow key and I'll just go ahead and go into this margins here and I'll hit enter and I can change the margins. I'll just go ahead and change one. I'll just make it wide by hitting enter again and now the margins are set to wide. I'll hit the alt again and this time I'll use the tab key to migrate between the commands. If I want to go backwards I can go hit the uh, shift tab key. By holding down shift and pressing tab I can go backwards and then I could use the arrow keys to migrate between the tabs. And one thing about using the arrow keys within these tabs is it's fine until I get to something like this font box here and I can't use the arrow keys anymore. It's stuck in there except for I can use down and up to select different fonts but I can't go to the next command by using the arrow keys so I have to use tab. All right, what I'll try to do now is I'll go back by hitting Shift Tab and I'll go use the down arrow keys and select the larger font. I'll select, let's say, 48. I'll hit Enter and this is 48. Let's try a couple more. I'll hit Alt. I'll go ahead and use the down arrow key, Tab, 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 all the way over until I get to Bold. I'll hit Return to go Bold and there we have bold text. Pretty simple. I'll go hit the Alt key again and I'll use the arrow key to go into the Office button. I'll hit Enter and I'll go ahead and select a new document. New is highlighted. I'll hit Enter and uh, Enter again for blank document and now I have a new blank document. If I want to get rid of this document, close it down, no problem. Alt, left arrow key, Enter to go into the Office button and I'll just use the down arrow key to go to close, hit Enter and that new document that I just created is now closed. Let's try a few other things here. I'll go to the Alt key, down to go into the ribbon and I'll use the tab to scroll all the way over to the font dialog box. I'll hit Enter to go into it and tab to go select some effects. Now here with effects we have these little check boxes and if I just hit enter it'll end up closing this dialog box because the OK button is highlighted so if I hit enter it's going to be the same as clicking on OK. So what I have to do is use the space bar to toggle the strike through. So if I want superscript I'll just hit space bar, take superscript off, space bar again and I can toggle the checkbox. So from now, from here, I will go ahead, hit tab, 
and go to the OK, hit return, and now we have double strike through. I'll hit the Alt key, down arrow, tab to go all the way to the font dialog box, return, and you'll see here we have a little underline. For example, here, strike through is K, small caps is M, all caps is A, hidden is H, and so on, all the way down this list. This is rather important because what I can do, if I'm just here on the font, right now this the font is highlighted, I can toggle, say, strike through by holding down the Alt key and hitting K. And now strike through is toggled off and on by Alt K. If I wanted to put double strike through back on, I'll hit Alt L. Now, when I did this, the uh, active area now is under effects. So if the active area is here in this little box area, I don't need to hold down the Alt key. I can just hit W for like shadow, take that off, uh, M for small caps, and I don't have to use the Alt key at all. It may be good practice to use the Alt key at all times. That way you don't get confused by, say for example, here I'll just click. I know I'm not kind of supposed to on this tutorial, but this font size here is, this font is active now. And if I just try to uh, use the M to make small caps active, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up typing in the font. And that doesn't work you know, very. That doesn't work very well. So I'll just have to hit the uh, Alt M for small caps to toggle it off and on, depending on what I want. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as double strike through right now, and I'm just going to scroll down. I'll just hit Enter, and off it goes. I like to point out a few other things here. When I hit the Alt key, notice here we have little things like H's and N's and P's and so on. And these are little keys that I can press on the keyboard. So for example, if I want to go into review, all I have to do is uh, type R. And now I'm in the review tab. If I want to do spelling and grammar check, you'll see that spelling and grammar check is S. So I'll just press S on the keyboard. And OK, it says spelling and grammar check is complete. OK, so that this means all I have to do is hit Enter. And that box goes away. Here's how you can use a keyboard to make things go a whole lot more efficient when working with Microsoft Word. Right now we're in review, and double strike through is turned on. So if I want to turn it off, what I'm going to have to do is go to Home, then I'm going to have to go click on this little font box here, and this takes time, then I'm going to have to figure out this double strike through, and then I'm going to click OK, and now it's off. Now let's try this again with the keyboard. And since it's off, I'm going to have to turn it back on, just using the keyboard. I'll click on Review to simulate uh, this is where we're at right now. If I want to go home, Alt-H, FN to go into the font dialog box, double strike through, enter, boom, I'm done. Just by using the keyboard, you see how much faster that is than clicking around on the mouse. One last thing I would like to show you before this tutorial ends. If I hold down the shift key, notice where the insertion point is here. If I hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys, I can highlight the text. So those who can't use the mouse can still highlight text and copy and paste and do everything with that. And I'm going to use the keyboard to reset the font back to its original default state. So I'll hit Alt H for the home tab and to turn it off is this simple clear formatting button here which is assigned to E so all I have to do is hit E on the keyboard and the font is set back to its default. To unhighlight the text I'll just hit the right arrow key and the text is no longer selected.